we are now live for the Sunday stretch. Okay, so we are gonna stand to begin with. We're gonna stand the hips. We're gonna hinge them slightly. We're gonna think about the shoulders. We're gonna drop the shoulders. As we drop the shoulders, we're just gonna close the eyes, start tracking the flow. Start tracking the flow. So from the mind, we go down, back of the neck, and then from the back of the neck, we line it on the shoulders. And where we feel the tension on our neck towards our shoulders, we drop it. As we drop it instantly, what will happen is our clavicle will drop, and then our elbows will drop, and then the hips will drop, and then your knees might soften. And that's what we want, those points. So we start thinking about those points. The neck, the shoulders, the elbows, the hips, the knees. Trigger points on where we need to settle. And from here, that hip that I spoke about in the beginning, the hinge, we're gonna hinge over. And you're gonna have your hands in front of your thigh and you're gonna run it down your thigh, past your knee, go down your shin as far as you can go with your back purposely straight and you're gonna to stop to the point where you can't go down no more unless you need to round your back or you need to bend your knees. So we wanna get a nice tight hamstring then flows up past the glute towards the lower back and then we're gonna target that area. So lower back, glute, hamstring and as we've been in this position for about 15 seconds. We're gonna start pulsing, start pulsing, which is you just moving at the hips, up and down, be free. There's no need to flex the knee right now. Just up and down from the hips, hinge. You're gonna to get to a point where you feel confident enough to go lower without sacrificing the fall. So what we want to be doing now is go a little bit lower and we're going to extend into that lower stretch, still with the back straight. And then what we do from here is we grab the leg, wherever you've reached, you're going to grab that leg, still keep the back fairly straight, knees quite soft. We're going to take a deep breath in through the nose. We're going to expand the belly. We're going to feel the belly rise on our thighs. We're gonna hold the breath at the top. It's gonna to feel the flow from the ankles all the way up to the hips and then all the way up to the neck. Feel the flow, up and down, scan it. And then once we let that air out, we're gonna pull ourselves into the body. So let the air go, drop your head, drop your shoulders, Round your back, flex your knees, become soft and become tight. Open tightness. Holding that stretch, feeling the flow. And now, taking a deep breath in, you're gonna reverse the sequence. We're gonna go right up, take a deep breath in, go right up, right up. Feel those hamstrings form back into their state raise the arms up, still keeping that breath going in, all the way, leaning back, supine stretch, take that breath out. As that breath comes out, drop your arms down, drop your arms down, and once again, hip hinge, go down, slide your fingers down your thigh, pass your knee, down your shin, flex your knee, round your back, go right deep in, right deep in, grab the bottom part of your leg, Take a deep breath in, deep breath. Hold that breath, feel that flow, feel that openness. Let the air go, pull yourself into the body. Pull yourself into the body really deep. Open up that lower spine, open it all up. Glutes, hamstrings, calves, open it all up. And then what I'd like you to do is put your hands on the floor, if 
if you can't reach the floor, then flex the knees. You want to put your fingers on the floor and then your palms on the floor. So you want to flex your knees up until the point you can do that. You don't need straight leg. You don't need to be ultra flexible here. And then from there, you want to be walking a little bit forward. Walk a little bit forward. Try and keep your heels on the ground. If your heels are not on the ground, it doesn't matter. Just now consciously, consciously bring your heels down so that you can feel your calves being pulled, your Achilles being pulled, hamstring, glute, and now you are in the downward facing dog. I'm gonna drop the head if you haven't dropped it already. And from here, get a good stabilizing stance with your hands, really have that tower of structure, support, and then raise one leg up. So we go into the three-legged dog. Go into the three-legged dog. And that supporting leg, you wanna keep it quite straight. If it flexes at the knee, it doesn't matter, does not matter. And then from there, that outstretched leg, we're gonna fold it at the knee, and then we're gonna rotate the hips so we can stack the hips. Stack the hips round. Hold that stretch, hold that stretch. Three, two, one. And then you're gonna line up your hips again, bring your leg down, plant your foot on the floor, walk your hands to your toes, put your fingers on your toes, take a deep breath in, rise the body up, rise the body up, with that breath going in, going in, all the way, arms go all the way up, arms go all the way up, supine stretch, take that breath out, get rid of that breath, get rid of that breath, bring the arms down, bring the arms down, awesome work, and then from there, you're gonna squat down. So we're gonna squat down and we're gonna have our hands go on the floor. And then as our hands are on the floor, one of the hands is gonna go very close to one of the, the feet so that your arm is now flush to the leg. And the other hand is gonna rotate up and your body is going to follow. So we go into the hip opener, squat, stretch. Opening up the hips, opening up the chest, shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one. And then the arm goes down. And where the arm goes down, it wants to be very flush to the leg. And then the other hand, that was your supporting hand, is now the one that's gonna raise up. You're gonna twist your torso around, open up the hips, open up the obliques. And we're gonna hold that. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're gonna put our hands down and we're gonna bring our hands close together. We're gonna to put the knee on the floor, put the knees on the floor. We're gonna open up our knees so we go into the frog stretch. And with the frog stretch, what we're gonna do is roll and mobilize those wrists. We're gonna go all the way around, all the way around. So we're gonna take deep breaths in so I'm gonna be counting the seconds that we want the breath to go in. You rotate round with your own pace. So we're gonna go four seconds in, and then we're gonna pause, and then we're gonna let the air go. We're gonna carry on going the same way, and then we're gonna pause for four seconds. And then we're gonna go the other way with the same breathing technique. So we go in now with that breath, Going in through the nose. Four, three, two, one. We hold the breath and we hold the body where it is. Wherever the body is, we hold the breath. For four, three, two, one. We let the air go, we let the air go, and we continue on with that rotation. Three, two, one. And then once again, we settle. Four, three, two, one. One, we take a deep breath in and we go the other way. Take a deep breath in and we go the other way. Four, three, two, one. We hold for four, three, two, one. We let the air go. Keep on rotating round. Four, three, two, one. And we hold. Four, three, two, one. Then we go the other way. We go. Four. Hold. 
let the air go. Hold. And then we go in the other way. Breathe it in, four. Hold. Then we go, let the air go, four. And then we hold, four. And from here, where they're gonna sit back on our heels, the arms go right up, the arms go right up. We're gonna sit up, so we're on our knees, go into a supine. From the supine, we grab hold of the elbow, push the elbow down, stretch that tricep, and then we're gonna lean to any side that you want, any side that you want, the one that's the most convenient, the one that's most natural to lean to. Opening up the obliques, opening up that rib cage, lats, and then the arms go up. We take a deep breath in, take a deep breath in. As we take the deep breath in, the arms go down. At the bottom, we're gonna hold the breath, we're gonna hold the breath, and then let go of the breath. As we let go of the breath, we're gonna just let it all go down, all go down, let the shoulders settle, let the elbows settle, let the hips settle, just sink. And then we take a deep breath in, all the way, take a deep breath in. Right at the top, we're gonna hold the breath, grab the other elbow, push the elbow down, let the air go, let the air go as we push the elbow down, lean to the side, just breathe as normal, through the nose, out the nose, in the mouth, out the mouth, wherever you want, just breathe, just breathe, doesn't matter how. Just get the oxygen in there, flowing. And then we're gonna straighten up, arms go up again, and then as you come down, we're gonna go into the prayer stretch. So we go right down, so we look like that. And then we sit onto our hips, so we go into the prayer. Once we're in, into the prayer, your head's gonna go even further down so that your forearms are now flush to the floor. So now we are settled. From that settlement, you're then gonna bring your hands all the way round, semicircle them so that they are flush to the side of your legs. You're gonna turn your palms up you're gonna take a deep breath in. You're gonna secure that force on the neck. And then you're gonna let the air go and let it all go. Bring your shoulders down, drop your elbows. Just sink into the floor with that forehead. Open up that lower spine. Start to connect with those muscles that are just relaxed. Don't be too concerned about any kind of interference with your flow. Just feel that relax. And from there, your hands are gonna come back up again. So they're gonna rotate round and you wanna put them either side of your head and you're gonna go back into tabletop, back into tabletop. You're gonna outstretch your arms and then you're gonna sit back onto the hips right back onto the hips and from here one hand one arm is going to be elevated it's going to give you the support whilst the other arm is going to feed through so you're going to feed the needle thread that needle right through and your arm is going to outstretch as it outstretches you're going to lean on that outstretched arm Lean on the outstretched arm, the one that's crossing over your body. Put your head down, just relax. If you want a deeper stretch for your lats, for your rear shoulder, just slightly roll onto the arm that's across your body. Try and get a deeper stretch. From there, that hand that is outstretched is gonna come back in. It's gonna leverage, support you, your body's going to go up. As it goes up, you're going to put your hand next to the outstretched arm and you're back into that prayer. You're going to sit back on the hips, open up the lats, open up the hips. 
You're gonna tilt the hips. As you tilt the hips, one of the forearms is gonna become flush to the floor. You're gonna lean into that arm. We're gonna outstretch the lats. So where your armpit is now leading into your back, which is then connected to your rib cage, going to your obliques, feel that side really pop open. And then from there, you're gonna straighten up and you're gonna to lean to the other side. So your hips are gonna be tilted to one side while your lats open up on the opposing side. Opening up the lats, some obliques, feeling the hips, really stretching the body in multiple ways. And then from there, you're gonna center yourself again and your body's going to raise up so that it gives you that gap where you can feed the hand through. So you're gonna feed the opposing hand through. You're gonna gently drop yourself onto that floor so that the outstretched arm across the body is getting stretched on the rear shoulder, lats. And you're gonna bring your hand the hand that's outstretched, you're gonna bring it in, give yourself leverage, you're gonna come up again. As you're coming up again, you're then gonna put your hands either side, so they're parallel again. And from here, you're gonna outstretch the arms. As you outstretch the arms, your hips are gonna move, your hips are gonna move, and you're gonna go down onto your thigh, go down onto your thigh, and now we're in the cobra stretch. Being in the cobra stretch, we're gonna take a deep breath in, Really expand the belly. Holding that stretch. Breathing in through the nose, out the mouth. And then we're gonna come up, so we go tabletop again. As we go tabletop, we're gonna feed one of the legs through so that we can get into that pigeon stretch. So you wanna be sitting, so you've got one leg across and the other leg is now trailing back. And then what we want to be doing from here is leaning onto that leg. So after three, two, one, we're going to lean over that leg, lean over that leg. As we lean over that leg, we're going to have that hip proper open up, your T-band, the side of the thigh. You're going to feel all of that side be stretched all the way. If you grab your, your foot, so where your toes, grab your toes and then leverage yourself more into your thigh, into the adductor. Take a deep breath in, expand the belly, take that breath out and then leverage yourself in. Take that breath out, go deep into that thigh, opening up the hips. And then coming back up again, come back up again, and your hands are gonna go all the way up, so you're now more upright. We're gonna take a deep breath in through the nose. Nice five second breath in. Five. We're gonna hold the breath for six. And we're gonna let the air go for seven, and we're gonna drop down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, we hold the breath, hold the breath, for five, four, three, two, one, we take a deep breath in, for five, we hold, for six, and then we leverage ourselves up, get in the air out, for seven, We hold for four, three, two, one. Take a deep breath in for five. We're gonna hold for five. And then we're gonna let the air go for eight. Let the air go for eight and drop down.
and then we hold for four. Awesome work. Just breathe as normal. Leverage yourself up. And now what we're gonna do is swap over legs. Swap over legs. So now we go into that pigeon stretch, the opposite way around. So we've got the trailing leg right far back. The front leg is bent and it's angled so that our foot is facing our thigh. We're now gonna take a deep breath in for five seconds. Expand the belly. We're gonna hold that breath for four. And we're gonna let the air go and drop down on our leg for six. Drop down it for six. And we're gonna hold for four. We're gonna take a deep breath in for five. We're going to hold for four and we're going to let the air go for seven and leverage ourselves right up again. And we're going to hold for four. We're going to breathe in for five. We're going to hold for five and then we're going to let the air go for eight and we're going to drop ourselves down we're going to hold it for four then what we're going to do is grab our toes again grab our toes again Take a deep breath in for five. Stay where you are. You're gonna hold the breath for five. We're gonna let the air go once again for eight, but we're gonna draw ourselves in closer to that leg by pulling on our toe, really opening up the hips, T-band, hip flexors, opening it all up. And then we're gonna hold for four. Once again, we're gonna take a deep breath in for five, still holding the feet. We're gonna hold for five. And we're gonna let the air go for eight, pulling ourselves even closer in. Really sink into that leg. Hold the breath for five. And then just breathe as normal, breathe as normal. And we're gonna be sitting with our legs out. Sit with our legs out. Keep the back quite straight. And then what we wanna be doing is running our fingers down our legs by taking that deep breath in. Take a deep breath in. Run it as far as you can. With that deep breath, deep breath all the way, all the way, keep your back straight. Holding the breath at the bottom, holding the breath at the bottom. We're gonna hold the breath after five seconds when we let go. We're gonna get that breath out and we're gonna round the back, put our head down, stretch as far as we can. Three, two, one, let it go, let it go, let it go. Really open up that lower back. Put your head down, shoulder blades drop, lats drop, it all goes. Then we take a deep breath in through the nose and we go into the butterfly. Take a deep breath in through the nose and then we go into the butterfly. As we're in the butterfly now, we're gonna take a deep breath in through the nose. We're gonna go in for four. We're gonna hold for four. And we're gonna let the air go for four. And then we're gonna hold for four. Then one of our legs gets out stretched. The foot goes right up to the adductor, the inner thigh, 
plants itself there. Take a deep breath in for four. Hold the breath for four. Think of your shoulder blades now, because we want them dropped right now for four. Drop the shoulder blades for four. Then we hold the breath for another four. And then we breathe in for four seconds whilst we change over the legs. Four, three, two, one. We hold the breath. We put the foot flush on the inside of the other thigh. Four, three, two, one. We let the air go for four, three, two, one. And then we hold the breath for four, three, two, one. One. Our legs now both get out stretched. We go into the V stretch, and from here, you're going to hover your hands above the floor. Take a deep breath in for four. You're going to hold the breath for four. You're going to let the air go for four. You're going to drop your hands down. Make contact with the floor. Hold the breath for floor. Hold the breath for four, not floor. And then we take a deep breath in. As we take the deep breath in, we go even more forward. You can round the back, go for that breath, bring it all the way in. For four, three, two, one. We hold the breath for four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna stretch out a bit more. We're gonna let the air go for four, three, two, one. One, we're gonna hold for four, three, two, one. We're just gonna hold it right there. Take a deep breath in for five. Expand that belly. Hold the breath for six. Let the air go for seven. Drop the head, drop the shoulders, drop the lats, drop the lower back, just drop it. Feel that curve, feel the flow. And then hold the breath for five. Take a deep breath in, drag the fingers back. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath at the top for five, four, three, two, one. Let the air go for eight, and then lean forward all the way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold the breath for four, three, two, one, come back up for five, four, three, two, one, we hold for four, three, two, one, let the air go for eight, and then lean forward, hold for four, And then we breathe as normal, breathe as normal. And we bring ourselves up, get some space in our minds, bring our knees in, we get back on our knees. We're on all our fours again. We're gonna elevate the knees. So dig your toes into the ground, lean back onto your toes so they get a good stretch. Walk your hands back all the way, all the way until they reach the feet. And from there, take a deep breath in. All the way, take a deep breath in. And then open up, open up, lean back. And from there, get the air out, get the air out. Put your hands behind you. So you're gonna run your hands now, underneath. And they're gonna run down your hamstrings as you fold over, take a deep breath in, deep breath in, run your hands down your calves, grab your Achilles, grab your ankle, flex the knee, drop your head, round the back, bring the hands in front, and now you're gonna curve up. So you're gonna roll out, up, roll out, roll out, up, and then go into a supine one more time. Bring the arms down, and just settle from where you was in the beginning mind, head, all the muscles around the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the mouth, drop them, relax them, shoulders, drop them, neck, 
gets dropped. Elbows, wrists, they're all loose. Hips, soften them. Hip flex, knees, soften them. Ankles, soften them. Then scan, scan from the ankles all the way up, all the way up. Rotate it round. Start with your left side, go all the way around, right to the top of the head, and then travel down your right side. Just meeting all those trigger points, everything. Neck, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hips, knee, ankle. Just feel the flow, feel the flow, feel the dissolve, Feel the flow. Just breathe in through the nose, out the mouth. Through the nose, out the mouth. Through the nose, out the mouth. Through the nose, make sure the shoulders remain down, remain calm. Out the mouth, breathe in through the nose, expand the belly. Breathe out through the mouth, settle. 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 And slowly come out of that trance. And your Sunday stretch, Mads, Mads, Mads. Sunday stretch has been done. Thanking you.